Welcome back everybody, iOS 26 guys, and this is beta 2. No, pay attention guys, the first new change is something that we've seen on the WWDC, but we just witnessed it right now in the beta 2, yeah. What am I talking about guys, let me share very quickly, I have some wallpapers on my own. So in case you missed that one, this was one of the announcements that were made, I think with Craig Federighi, shown on stage. And in case you don't know what it is, look at this, Apple invented in brackets the parallax wallpapers. Now the joke aside, yeah, the truth is we have had this for years and years in any phones, Android phones, right? And of course with Samsung good luck you're able to use good luck to achieve this but okay this is the apple version and it's nice so how does it work guys you just load a photo and then you're gonna get something called the depth effect which is something that we already had and this new button here all right this new button will give you this parallax option it's going to analyze the picture and they're calling it now spatial you know i think apple they have a love for spatial things, we have the Apple Vision, spatial computing, so a, lot, a lot of spatial things. And, you know, joke aside, this thing works, and it does work quite nice, so I tested it with some stock wallpapers, all right? This doesn't have one, but I'm gonna show you how you can add, so you can click customize, and then from here, guys, you can, boom, generate a spatial scene. And these things were there from the first beta, but I'm just showing this to you in case you missed it, all right? And it really works quite nice um, uh, together with the depth effect. As you can see, the clock is now behind my boy, and we have this stunning special effect, so it's, it's actually a good effect. But the new thing here is, this is the standard iOS 26 wallpaper, guys. There is no special thing here, so you only are able to choose the appearance, like automatic or light, or let's say dark. And the good thing is, now the spatial thing works out of the box, so I'm not even sure if you can turn it on. Besides, of course, this, we have the depth effect. All right, off, very boring, on, kind of nice and cool. And believe it or not, but I do believe that Apple and Xiaomi now are very good at this depth effects and in Samsung One UI you need to use good luck to get there so I hope that Samsung are going to make a bolder move to get this bit more directly on the lock screen. Now guys something new in the iOS 26 beta 2 now if I want to you know add my widgets I'm able to drag them here on the top of the screen which was not available on the previous version you know you were just stuck somewhere here now I can just go and boom put the widgets there but you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna leave them there because I really like this new spatial wallpaper and by the way i'm using the ios 26 beta 2 on my iphone 13. never mind the case guys it's a gift here we are guys and believe it or not this is not the only thing in fact there are multiple new things so remember when this thing went out and apple put up the all right let me show you when they put up the liquid glass interface people really loved it or hated it and a lot of the people that hated it hated it for a reason because it was not so readable right so of course there was always this option for you to go inside the settings and just go inside accessibility all right and then click on display and text size and then reduce transparency this had worked before right and it's gonna give you like a something that is very plain by the way it's even better right now and the iOS 26 better too so Apple listened and they redesigned the amount of blur applied on the wallpaper making this now much better and in fact guys I do also believe that they changed somehow the effects of the glass itself now everything is here more pronounced right when you click on something the blur that is applied on the background is more blurry right it's more distinct and this means that all the text items here somehow pop more and it's still probably not perfect but I think it's quite usable and I have to tell you guys I really love it not only here guys they also change it here and by the way guys believe it or not I know that this sounds like a small kit fooling around but I kind of like this new effect the moment you start to drop the curtain right you can see what happens and by the way I've checked many interviews with Craig Federighi after the WWDC they really are thinking how they can unify this interface so that it's readable that it looks cool fancy and that it's absolutely unified across the whole iOS and believe it or not guys but just effect like this we can see we have the refraction from the light on the light the icons like this right just effects like this require a lot of CPU and computational power and GPU power and this is the reason why they said I'm not inventing they said it that they had to wait until the Apple Silicon just became so powerful that finally they can pull this trick off and honestly guys yeah this looks impressive 
might be a bit childish, but nevertheless, guys, it's very distinct and it's impressive. And I can guarantee, I can guarantee that a lot of the Android OMs will come up with something like this. Everything else aside, guys, now all the notifications are way more readable than they used to be in the previous version. And this is because of two main reasons. First, we have more blur that is applied on the background. And then the glass elements somehow are now redesigned and they're very, very readable, guys. Honestly, if this would have been the first iOS 26 beta, I don't think that uh, Apple would have gotten so much hate. All right, so right now, this is it. Okay, more new things. When I scroll down here, I do have all the widgets, guys. You can now add a new widget for Apple Music with a live radio. In case you wanna test it, how does it work? You just need to hold your finger here. You need to press edit, then add a widget, then just scroll down until you find the Apple Music. Okay, just music. A lot of the other widgets, actually all the other widgets still there, but this radio thing is at the end, all right? So what this can do, when you click, you're gonna have to immediately start listening to some of the radio, Apple Music One, Apple Music Hits, and etc. More changes, guys. Right now, when you go inside the settings uh, in accessibility and you click the reduce transparency, I do believe that it's gonna be even more drastic than how it used to be. So right now, I think they kind of absolutely are getting rid of the <laughs> motion blur behind. And yeah, it's just a very nice, pleasant interface that you can use, all right? I'm gonna show you right now here, we have the control. Right, I have my music player. And right now, guys, honestly, I do believe this thing looks cool. Looks a bit childish. And I think that they redesigned the glass effect somehow. And guys, more things, right? If you go back inside your settings, right, what you can do, you can scroll down until you find sound and haptics. Believe it or not, but they've added a new ringtone. So right now, when you go inside the ringtones, the reflection is the default one, all right? This is the one. This is the default one they added a new one called Alt-1, at least for now. All right, this is it. Okay, so default one, yep, and Alt-1. So I'm not sure what this means. Probably they're gonna change it, who knows. And something else, guys, while we are in the settings, we can go down in the battery. They redesigned the description for the low power mode. What is this button when I click it? Now, boom, my screen is gonna dim. I'm gonna get into low power mode, like low battery saving, but now we know what happens. My iPhone will temporarily reduce some background activities, promoting speed and display brightness and limit certain features such as 5G iCloud syncing, mail fetch and more. Previously, they just only put some short text that didn't really make a lot of sense. And last but not least, guys, right now, when you go inside, right? When you go inside Safari, the new Safari, by the way, guys, I, I really love it. For two main fucks, all right? Now, when you open something on Safari, guys, you're gonna get really the full screen, the full display of your phone, and all the elements that are, let's say, non-essential are gonna get minimized. And I really love this. And this thing is distinctive. You can see this in the Apple Store, in Apple Music, I'm gonna show this. And now, what they change in iOS 26 Beta 2, when you click here and you go inside the Alt tabs, right, the button for adding a new tab is here. And in the previous version, it was there. And again, I love it for these two main reasons. First, very easy to be used with one hand, okay? Because I can just click here, guys, and then immediately start typing something. And the other reason is it's so minimalistic. It's really non-intrusive. It's very transparent for the end users. And I kind of like this thing, right? And guys, something that I shown you in the first beta, and I really love it. The moment I start to pull my control bar, Pay attention to what is gonna happen, okay? Right now, all the icons are like this, and then see here, guys, okay? They're changing the color based on the web page they're viewing, based on the content that they're displaying. And that's adaptive, right? And I really, really think this is a good approach, right? Because it will make things more distinctive, and it's gonna be also less intrusive for us, the end users. This whole new liquid glass interface is everywhere. And of course, they added some new bouncy animations. Nothing new here. This is part from the iOS 26 Beta 1. But you can see what happens right now. I mean, I really, really like it. By the way, there is also a new thing inside um, the App Store because right now, if you're a developer, you need to list all the permissions that are used by your app, which I think is cool. And this interface is a repeating pattern. So I'm gonna open, let's say, the music app. I'm gonna show you, they really try to really make everything unified and it's here and see what happens here, guys. I'm inside Apple Music, right? I'm just now on the main screen. The moment I start swiping, boom! Like this non-essential part's gonna get minimized with some very nice and fancy animations. 
honestly guys I think this is cool and now see here guys all these things they're gonna change the color and they're gonna start bouncing really this is good so let's see now I have this black background of the liquid glass can feel and adapt and now I click here boom yellow right and the moment I go here it's gonna be white it's gonna change the color again and according to Greg Federighi from Apple they really waited for so long until the Apple silicon just became so powerful to pull this thumb this crazy nice and visual effects because again it's all like GPU accelerated and it still runs by the way even on my iPhone 11 this thing here is an iPhone 13 guys so imagine right even a recent iPhone 16 Pro Max can struggle somehow so I think that they're doing a nice work so far by just bringing iOS 26 uh, starting from iPhone 11 and sadly this spatial or parallax effect will not work on an old iPhone like 11 right now in the Apple wallet you can click here and you'll have your orders so you can get Siri to scan you know I think even your emails and get information for things that you ordered I cannot really test this right now but it's probably one of the new things let's try to see something else guys oh my god I mean yeah this is a good reminder guys don't mess up with better software if you don't want to get things like this this is why it's called a beta all right what happens when I click the edit <laughs> okay it's fixed let me just click it one more time I'm gonna click customize because I want to see how the new clear look is gonna like with uh, iOS 26 beta 2 Oh yeah, I can tell you guys, they definitely changed the way the glass looks. It was more glassy in the first beta. Now it's somehow more dull, more frosted. And uh, honestly, I think it looked cooler in the other version, the first one. But this thing here is more readable. Yeah, I really hope that uh, they'll bring like at least two options. Uh, maybe just like have like 100% full liquid glass icons and then of course something that is like more frosted why not okay and by the way huge respect to apple for teaming all the icons because even in android 16 the stable or the better releases when you apply this dynamic theming not all the icons really are teamed and yeah i know it's the developers but here apparently it works tinted it. okay you can see now you can tint uh, <laughs> all of your icons if that's your thing light dark oh the dark icons work right now uh, usually I'm gonna go with the default one and that's it guys this is more or less um, the new iOS 26 beta 2 I do believe that Apple are trying to nail it down they for sure are working in the right direction to make this more usable and hopefully people will love it honestly I think this is a cool idea and if they keep doing more changes uh, I think that the iOS 26 like official beta will launch very soon hopefully in the next month or two and then more and more people will have the chance to jump on board and just try to experience this honestly it's a good system for now again it's not so good for a daily driver I'm not using my iPhone on a daily basis and remember you can always go and reduce this transparency option and it's gonna get a bit more dull but guys now the quick menu is way more readable than it used to be we have some new widgets like the music radio we have some new stuff inside Safari yeah we have also this new Apple original wallpaper now with a spatial option and I think that's it guys thank you so much for watching VST over and bye